Hey, this is Ronald Carroll from Mad Skills University. And today I want to teach you how to create a very simple horror trailer intro with DaVinci Resolve 18. Now, if you're a more advanced person, I'm going to do a quick five minute. Here's how I did this to get you going so you can go and just do your thing and do what you want to do. Now, I'm going to start this out for more advanced users to show you what I did really quickly. But basically, you're going to have to get the song, a pile of bones and then bring in your own audio effects and sound effects. These are the video assets. In the beginning we're going to create this text here that we have that brings in the text there and we're going to show you what effects and different things and filters I used on the video clips but this is how they are in order. Fortunately I also provided you with the video assets but everything you need is going to be here in the links. The font I used, the You Murderer and the Devil Net can be found here. Color and Film, the Psychology of Color, you might want to check that out. And then here everything's linked and listed below. So all the video assets for track 1, 2, and 3. Here and they're linked below 1, 2, 3, etc, etc. So if you want to follow along you can download those. If you're using Filmora X through 12, you can actually check out my link below. I did this exact same video horror trailer in Filmora uh, a couple of years, maybe a year or so ago. So you can check that out. If I go over here, and we know that the song is a pile of bones, so that's how that goes. I'm going to mute this though, so we can just hear the sound effects. So we got it. It's just an ambient sound. Here's my wind. Thunderclap right there. Luckily, this sound effect here came with the video clip. <laughs> so you got evil laughs, you got clowns laughing, you have zombies, and basically those are breathing heavy, running. Okay, so let's go to the videos and we'll see for you advanced users or people who just want to get going with this how I did this. So we're going to start with track number three. We'll click on this video and we'll make sure we have it highlighted. So this is the guy. This guy comes with the sound effect at the bottom is what you saw. And basically the compositing here is darker color. And let's move over to the clown. And he's going to be multiplied. No effects, no transitions. Let's go to track two. And but I, what I do want you to note though is how I'm fading in or kind of fading out. You can see this is way over here in the middle. But let's go over this. And that's our text and that's our cross here. It's going to be animated to go up here. And that's the difference. Here we have no fade in or fade out. But we're on screen here with the two ladies in white. Then the transition is right there. And we have a blur dissolve. And mix it up, do whatever you want to do. Note the fade in, fade outs on this. Let's go back over here. And that's our screen, sorry about that. So we have a blur dissolve here for a transition. And then this is of course gonna be back to video. That's gonna be screen. Over here, let's move this over. That's what we have there. And note the fade in, fade out. Again, 
go over to the hand that's what we have there nothing up here and let's go to the sorry go over here and this is just cut in half overlay because I want to keep that bloom red and that did it let's just go over here and let's click on that and that's different so let's go to the clown we have a multiply on the clown just to give you an idea of what I did if I go down here again note how this fades and this is our beginning and we have nothing there so these will all be normal compositing but what we're going to look at though are the effects or any transitions so let's go to the transition at first and I have a glitch effect here on on this one and then if I go to effects we have film damage so open FX effects right so we have a glitch and we have film damage on that one if I go over here to this guy we just have a basic blur dissolve and let's go to the transition here that we're using if I go over here that's what we have and this one let's go over and we have that again now this one is where I apply a mirror effect so if I go over to effects we have the mirrors open FX no fusion and then we have the gamut limiter here those are the two effects I used and let's go over here see what we have okay, and just basic have a camera shake right there another camera shake and we have fusion so here is where I brought in night vision and I changed it to a bluish and you can go different colors you can play with these settings but um, on these other clips once I get inside the house I went to a night vision more of a bluish color like that then if I scroll down one more be the same thing once I got over here we did the same things here but I also apply film damage and night vision let's go back up here and nothing there and I made this a little bit greenish I want to give you different options to play with color here now I went back to the blue and there's just fusion here it's just gonna be my night vision and here I went back to normal because once he wakes up it's like well was he dreaming or not so that's what I did there as far as the effects go Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. I'm going to work on a lot of different cool content this year, so expect that. In the meantime, check out my other videos.